everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Country Girl, and my name is Kathy Jarvis, and I've been out here all day for the last six hours working on the peach tree that you see behind me. Do you remember I told you I had those awful brown looking mummified things on my peach tree well it turned out that those are caused by brown rot what's well, brown rot is caused by a fungus and some years it's worse than others a lot depends upon the moisture and humidity that you have during the spring and the summer it can attack the flowers the stems and the fruit of your tree if you catch it in the early stage, you're usually okay. Um, when you see the brown rot, I'll show you what it looks like. In the flower stage, it just turns your flowers um, brown and they drop. But they end up mummifying your fruit to it looks like this. And your other fruit gets these brown mode on them and they eventually turn to look like that. So, how do you take care of it? First and most important of all is remove all the fruit from the tree. And that is what I had been doing all day. I started out on the lower branches, just taking the fruit off and separating the good from the bad. And then I had to go and get the ladder. And I got the next round up. And then I used this to get the next round. And then last of all, I had to use I'd bring up the big guy that telescopes up to get the last of them. So we've got all the fruit off the tree, all the mummified fruit, fruit off. I've taken all the branches that are broken and that I could get to that had the brown lesions on them or the leaves were dried out. So the next thing I need to do is, well, I've already done it, is clean up all the fruit and all the rotting seeds and stuff around the base of the tree. I've got all that taken care of. Now, in February of this year, I'll have to come out and check the branches, February or March, before it starts branching out. I'll have to check all the branches to make sure there's no cankers or lesions in there. And if I do, I'll have to remove those. Another thing that they say you should do is thin out your tree. And one of the things they said, and this isn't very nice to cats, but it said if you can throw a cat through it, then it's thin enough. So I, my theory is if you throw a ball through it, you're good. So I don't want to throw my cats around. So I've been trimming off a little bit of the leaves right now just to get more air in, but I won't do a good trimming until... Um, Late winter when you normally prune the trees. Another thing they suggest that you do is thin out the fruit during the season so that you only have one fruit every four to six inches instead of having a cluster because when you have a cluster then they get together and then they that's where the spores like to hide and rest and start out. The other thing is if those two, three things don't work, then you can go with the uh, fungicide. And they recommend that you use one that has captain in it or 50 WP or a sulfur base um, fungicide. Just make sure it's good for the tree. And they suggest that you uh, start spraying right after the um, pink stage when they when the um, 
petals begin to fall. Uh, they say apply it every seven days, starting every seven to ten, ten days, starting when the petal flower petals begin to fall in early spring. And then to do it, to do the sulfur, 14 to 21 days as a summer cover spray. And um, be careful so you don't, with a 90 degrees weather, be careful because that will cause burning. Just read the instructions on the spray that you buy and go from there. So, hopefully you've learned something. I've learned something. And hopefully we can get some peaches next year. I'll show you the poor harvest that we got this year. That's it. That is all the peaches I got from this tree. That whole garbage bag plus this whole bucket are the bad mummified peaches. Now what I need to do is burn them or bury them. You cannot put them in your compost. So that's the next step. Actually, the next step is cleaning up this mess, cleaning myself up and getting ready to fix supper. So I hope you've learned something. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And share it with your friends. If you know anybody that's got peaches, definitely share it with them. Uh, one of the causes for this, I know, is because I didn't get them cleaned up last year. Because I had that health problem. And a lot of stuff didn't get done. And it's caused problems this year with the cucumbers, the squash bugs in the greenhouse because they didn't get the vines cleaned up in time and now my peach tree because I didn't get out here to get I didn't get out here hardly to harvest last year so hopefully we got this under starting to get under control it's not going to be a simple fix it's going to take a while but the first step is get out there and harvest your peaches make sure there's nothing left on the tree that the fungi can attach to and overwinter because they overwinter in the ground and in that mummified fruit. So, like I said, hope you learned something. Share it with your friends. And remember, dream big and follow that dream. Bye.